hey guys welcome back to my channel once again in this video i'm going to be talking about top 10 driving mistakes that lead to danger so if you think this is something you're interested in if you think this is something you want to watch then definitely want to keep on watching my videos So, hey guys, welcome back once again. If you are seeing my face for the first time, hi, I'm Barakat Amzat. And if you are not, thanks for sticking with me. As I said, I'll be talking about top 10 driving mistakes you make that put you in danger. Is it something that is common? And then, let us get right into the video. So, the first one is going to be driving while distracted. In this era of smartphone and everything, people tend to press their phone while driving. You tend to do a lot of things while driving. Even while you are listening to songs, music, you tend to get distracted a lot. That's just the problem. So when you know that you want to press your smartphone, you can always park your car. Press it. In, attend to that important call. Do all things you want to do before getting back into the car and then moving. Don't ever drive while distracted. Don't drive while you are eating. Yes. When you want to eat, park your car somewhere and eat. Nobody is saying you should not eat. But don't eat while driving. Don't press your car while driving. Even when you are listening to music, please put it on a very low volume so that you understand what other people are doing outside. You get what is happening around you. Yes, you have to get it. It is so important. So please and please, when you are driving, when you are doing it, don't get distracted at all. Any distraction, bring it out. Any distraction, throw it out. Any distraction, cancel it. And then you are good to go. Next up is going to be speeding. Yes. Like when you just check the um, um, thing that is happening around, all accidents that is happening, ask them because it is speeding. Not because they cannot do anything or everything, but because they want to get to an appointment or they are rushing after somebody or they need to meet uh, up to, with somebody or anything. When you are driving, please drive on a normal speed. Don't speed. Don't do anything. Don't run around. Make sure you are just okay and then you are good to go. Why are you speeding? Where are you rushing to? And how to avoid this thing is just stick to your normal speed. Don't drag with somebody on the road. Don't rush after somebody on the road. Don't do anything that is going to cause you accident. Just make sure you are going to where you are going to. Make sure you reach your destination safe and healthy. So when you are speeding, you tend to do a lot of things. Even when there's portal on the road, you don't know. So please don't speed on the road and then you are going to go. Next up is going to be slow reaction times. Your reaction determines the time you used to like understand what is going on around you, the situation you are in. So when you are slow, it is not good. And this thing happens to middle aged people or old people most times. So please and please, when you are going on the road, don't be slow. Don't like, just think fast. Act fast. So how to avoid these things is never get behind the wheel when you are under the influence of something. Always give yourself a distance between your car and another car. Don't rush after somebody, don't target anybody. Let that distance to be clear. Not like you are here and the person is here. No. Make sure the distance is clear because you don't know what the person wants to do. Just make sure the distance is clear and then you are good to go. Another one is going to be you should plan your route ahead of time. Plan where you are going to pass. Plan how you are going to do it. Plan the time you are going to get to where you are going to without speeding. Another one is you should never get behind the wheel when you are sick or under the, I said it already, under the influence of something. But when you are using drug, Make sure you're not like behind the wheel. Don't drive, don't do anything, just rest. Or most especially, don't drive while you're tired. The fourth one is going to be failure to use the turn signal. Yes, there is always a signal that is going to tell, okay, I'm turning to this side. You are telling, like you're going to notify other cars that you are turning to this side or this side. But then, Failure to use it. You are just saying, oh, let me just turn. Nobody is coming. You don't know if another person is coming in the front. You don't know if they are coming at the back. But you just want to turn. And then accidents happen a lot. You are in danger. Don't just turn. Make sure you notify other cars that you want to turn. Make sure you notify them. And that is how to avoid it. Always notify other people that this is what you want to do. This is the next stop you are passing. This is the next craft you are going to pass. This is how you want to move. And then nothing will happen to you. Next stop is going to be sipping through the yellow lights. See, people usually do this a lot. Like, you already see that yellow light too. 
But you are thinking that, ah, no, I must pass. I can pass before it turns to red. I can do this. See, the yellow light is just to inform you that you need to stop. Slow down. The red is stop. Yellow light is telling you that you should slow down. Maybe another car is coming, you don't know. Maybe anything. But in as much as that yellow light is on, just slow your car down. Is it that it's going to that red button or it is moving to the green? So you need to just stop. Don't rush. Where are you going to? Don't overtake anybody. Don't even overtake the yellow lights. And then you're good to go. The sixth one is going to be poor steering technique. Yes, you know how to drive. But there are some certain points that your steering will get hard or something happens to your steering. Or you are using one hand. No, ah, I can drive with one hand. I can do this with my other hand. I can do this. I can drive. Please. Make sure you are driving with your normal two hand. Even if you want to use hand, make sure it is holding the um, steering very firm. Yes, you need to hold it tight. There's nothing like, hey, I'm driving small, small. I can do it like this. I can do it like this. No, just avoid these things. Don't, don't, don't do like, okay, I'm a professional or anything. Just avoid these things. Another one is going to be driving while tired. Like this tends to happen to those people that usually maybe drop load or something. They are going for delivery or anything. They'll be like, let me just drop this thing so that I can take another delivery up or anything. Or you are working overnight at work. You are busy with some projects or anything and you want to drive the next morning. Don't do that. Please don't drive. It is no good. It is no, it is no LD because you don't know what is going to happen. You might even sleep on steering. So please and please, when you are driving, don't be tired. When you are tired, get an Uber or something, or that boat. Or you should just like have somebody to drive you back to work or drive you to where you are going to. Why are you going to drive while you are tired? And if you do this, you are going to avoid a lot of things. You are going to avoid a lot of accident on the road. So please don't drive while you are tired at all. Next up is going to be failure to use your side mirror or driving in a blind spot. You want to do that professional driving skill, but you don't want to use your mirror. There are some cars that has a screen that you can use to see your back. But when you're not reversing, what are you going to do? Your side mirror is just to show you that, okay, somebody's coming here or somebody's coming here. But because of you want to do that professional thing, you're not using it. You are, not, you are even driving in a blind spot where you're not going to see anybody. How do you want to avoid these things? Please, don't drive in a blind spot. Don't drive without using your side mirror. Your side mirror is meant to use. It is meant to track other people. It is meant to understand that, okay, something is happening in my back home. Something is happening here. So, like, just don't drive in a blind spot. And then use your side mirror. Next one is going to be not eating to other drivers. Not eating to other vehicles. Yes. Because you are rushing to some place. Or you are going somewhere you tend to rush a lot ah i just need to get to where i'm going to fast and safe yes you want to get there fast and safe but you don't know if this car is pointing their traffic the toilet you don't know if this one wants to branch here you don't know if it's going front you don't know if the person is rushing but because of what you want to do you are not in the right state of mind to drive you are just rushing no matter what even if this person is already coming like this you are just rushing let me just go where i'm going to uncle daddy bros mommy please Always listen to other cars' instruction. Cool down. Where are you rushing to? Avoid becoming a statistics or when they are counting that, okay, these people are part of those people that can know, that, that do not always drive well. Please, don't make yourself an experiment. Don't make yourself, like, I don't even know. What are you doing? Where are you rushing to? What appointment are you going for that is more better than your life? So please and please, Always listen to other cars' instruction. Listen to what other people are saying at the back. I'm not talking, they're not talking, but their car is saying something. Their car is their, their voice during that moment. The moment you are driving, your car is your voice. So always listen to other people's instruction. And the tenth one is going to be improper use of headlights. Yes. At night, you do not want to hone your light. Why? Because other people hone their horn. You are going to see. No. Always use it in a proper way. When you are supposed to hone it, hone it. When you are supposed to move, move. Don't, don't do like, eh, I don't need to hone this light. I will see. I'm a good person. This thing is this. this what was this? What was that? 
when you're using it in an improper way you tend to have accidents a lot yes even if you want to pack that sea caution sign i think i said a video about uh, like i've done a video about sea caution signs and everything make sure your sea caution sign is there if your car is not on other cars when they are coming their light is going to show that okay well, this car is parked somewhere because of your sea caution sign nothing else nothing more so even if you are driving you must use your light always on the light at night in the afternoon okay yes you are seeing even in the evening on your light many people don't understand that somebody is going on the road why are you not using your light the light is there for something if it is bad you repair it if it is not good maybe something is wrong with it make sure you go and do it what's there it is not hard and it is not expensive like expensive expensive so it is something you can always please make sure all these things i've said you are doing it in a proper way let me know down in the comment section which one have you been doing which one do you do and which one do you, which tips do you think you can take out of everything i've said and i'll be glad to answer your question so i'll be seeing you in my next one till then stay fabulous and stay blessed bye guys Thank you.